And welcome back, everybody, to a uh, another Let's Play of Earth 2. I couldn't help myself but to do this, so we need to make ourselves a bunch of sticks. Um, to do that, we're going to have to uh, come over here. I need to make us a bed so we can get the night over with. I uh, started playing this game, and we're gonna we're just going to say max, click that, and just craft it. Let's go ahead and uh, go over here to crafting real quick. And let's make ourselves a small shelter. Let's craft this thing up. And tab again. Let's make sure this thing's up here in our inventory. Well, no, we don't want the copper ore. I'll show you where I got that here in a minute. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead. Let's hit three and... Let's get our little shanty up uh, up here. So let's hit G, and what that'll do is just set it, so we're just going to let the thing sit this way. If we're sitting on a hillside, that's fine by me. And we need to set our spawn. And just pretty much sleep straight through the night. Now, here we go back up in the game and what I've done is I've moved ourselves from way out there to over here and I wanted to record this because well I was running into uh, I came over this way and I was like you know what this is a nice good flat spot to uh, build at you know we could build ourselves a city here but the first thing that came through my mind is Instead of building a city here, the first thing I want to build is New Vegas. Alright, a lot of you guys might be familiar with uh, Fallout New Vegas. But, this is... So, as I came over here, I've seen this up here. I was wondering what it was. It's copper. So, now you can have a uh, way to... Uh, you can collect iron, you can collect ore, you can actually make the stuff versus the way it was before. So, yeah. So, this stuff is mainly all copper. Okay. But, we don't want to sit here and collect copper. Okay. What we need is we need 128 stone. But we also need to make sure we have enough food. So, let's go ahead and see here. We have two tomatoes. We got eight eight potatoes now you can eat vegetables raw and we have 53 stone we need 128 of them and we need to make ourselves a smeltery and we're just gonna set this all out here in the open we could build ourselves a uh, area but we need better tools so that we could uh, we need better tools so we could actually harvest and maybe clear out some of this grass and stuff and things so yeah so let's go ahead let's get herself a whole bunch of this stone here another trick that I've seen we could do is we could do a creative mode but I'm against creative on this we're gonna do this thing legit um, Basically, what we can do is we can build our first house in the mountainside over here, so... What we can do is we're just going to uh, carve this out here a little bit. Hopefully, we get ourselves a good bit of stone doing this. And you see it kind of opens up like a cave, too. And that's how I wanted to do I want it to open up like a cave. Because not only are we going to turn this into like a base, I'm part of me that it's a bit dark in here. Let's see how much stone we have. So we needed 128 and things stack in uh, the rest of this. So let's go ahead. Let's get the rest of this stone. Um, I might as well just pause the video while I go ahead and do this. And I'll be back with you guys in a bit. 
Okay, now that we're back, I got ourselves a good bit of stone. I dug that thing back here pretty deep. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this straight back. I'm going to branch it off going to the left and branch it off going to the right. We'll push it back in. We'll build ourselves a base inside of there just for the time being till we can, uh, cause I really don't want to have houses all over the place out here or one player home. I mean, I want to actually build it out. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off building the, uh, good springs, I'm going to take a whole bunch of screenshots from inside the Good Springs general store in the saloon, and we'll do all that kind of stuff. Like, you got a workbench, you got a reloading bench, so yeah, that's the stuff things we're going to do there. Uh, what we needed to do is we need to come over here, and we need to go to crafting stations, a smelting furnace, and we need to create this. So uh, yeah, that's 128 stone that thing takes. So there we go. Let's put this in our hot bar. And we're going to take our furnace and let's say we're just going to set that thing over here just for right now. Let's make sure there isn't anything over here first. Um, we got a tomato plant over here, so we want to be careful how far we set this thing back. So let's hit three. And let's go ahead and spin this thing. Let me move back some. Uh, let's just go ahead and place this thing right here for right now. And let's make sure we didn't cover up our uh, tomato plant over there. Because that would suck. Okay, our tomato plant is still there. We just got to wait for it to uh, regrow some stuff. Alright, so let's head up here to the front of our smeltery and we can turn it on um how does it work oh you come up here. To, this is the front. Oh well. Well, that's okay. Well, I'm taking. I'm guessing that you just take your oars and you throw it in there. And all right. So let's see how this thing works. What is this? Uh, so let's just hit Q. See if you just throw it in there. Alright, well that's cool. Oh, I see. Alright, so you don't exactly just throw it in there. Um... I don't know how this works. Okay, yeah, so you just pretty much have to just set it in there like that and it casts itself into uh ingots which you then have to pull out of her. Well that sounds cool. So we'll go ahead we'll slap ourselves a whole bunch of uh, iron in or copper in here. Make ourselves some ingots out of it. And hopefully we can make ourselves an anvil with it. So you can see we got seven ingots of it right now. It probably takes a little bit of time. So I think what we're going to do 
is we're gonna come we're going to uh, go over there and we're gonna mine up some more of that copper and we're gonna keep an eye on this thing right here so I'll be back with you guys I'm gonna have to take cut here I really don't want to be making cuts but I'm gonna make a cut anyways and just so we can see this stuff's fully smelted so I'll be back with you guys in a little bit and as you can see this stuff is already starting to uh, melt down into bars so we can go ahead and we can start to collect this stuff I got some more iron I started putting those up top so yeah all this stuff should be able to start melting in sequence together so let's see here we got seven of these and I think we should uh, start to put some of this uh, iron in here so let's go ahead and start putting some more iron in here so we'll just go ahead we'll do that and how you put this in here is you hold down the right click button to put this in and once it's in there you should be able to switch to another piece and uh, do it that way I mean you just hold the mouse button down till you get a uh, till the hand pops up and once the hand pops up you should be okay and then we just back up here and let everything smelt down so while this does its thing it's almost done let's go see what we could do with this copper here real quick if we can make an anvil out of it or not or what we actually need for it so let's just run over here real quick and let's just see what we need for this anvil anvil we need 24 iron so I pretty much got to keep mining out that iron so this is how you smelt the uh, stuff in the game here and let's just go see if any of this iron is done already nope looks like it's still melting down now the first iron ingot that should melt is the one down here in the far right and then all the ones on top will melt down and then all of these so I need a lot more iron to uh, build ourselves an anvil and I don't know about you guys but I'm actually enjoying this and I'm actually probably gonna end the episode out here and go mine out that area inside there because now we can start to make some brackets but instead of ending the episode um, I'm waiting for at least one of these iron to uh, finish smelting down that way we can make a uh, I can show you what we can do so here we go we got our first iron ingot <laughs> so now that that one's done you should start to see the ones up here on top do their thing so you got copper and iron I'm wondering if you can make yourself a uh, a bronze broadsword or something or maybe some armor I mean is right now this is just iron you haven't even gone into the bronze age yet come on any of that up there melted come on sometime today So yeah, we're just going to uh, try to fill this thing up inside of here. Oh, we almost had it. Here we go. 
Now we can see we also got ourselves an iron ingot up top here. Ah, dang it. Messed that up. So yeah, we could just keep filling this thing up over here. I'll uh, probably build ourselves a new furnace, and we could push it somewhere else. But for right now, I think I'm just gonna chill over here, babysit this, and see what we can do. So I'll be seeing you guys next episode. Um, well, in a little bit here. Let's go and. Uh, let me go show you guys what I'm talking about here. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go to this thing, and we're gonna let's see here. We should be able to go to tools, and but see, we got a hoe. We need a sledgehammers. We got rakes, scythe. This is what you need to collect seeds for planting food. So that's a lot of stuff. Um, this is your copper rods, copper plates, um, tools, ladders, resources. No, I'm looking for it. Oh, it might be under lights. So you go to uh, torch mount right here, and we need an iron plate for that, so we probably still need the anvil for that. I mean, it's something I would have uh, loved to have done with you guys, but it looks like we'll have to do that next episode. It's a little bit laggy right now. Don't know why. We'll come over here and take a look inside the furnace. I'm willing to bet some of this stuff is starting to melt. Yep. So let's see how many of these are. And right now we got 14 of them. Um, that's dirt. We got seven copper. Um, iron ore. We got one more of those left. So yeah, we got to keep smelting a lot of this stuff up and uh, until we get 24. But until next episode, um, looks like I'm going to be doing myself a lot of mining up there, getting all the iron that I can out of there. Um, coming down here, we're going to smelt this stuff. But uh, yeah, so for right now, what I want to do is... I want to turn this thing off. And I just want to uh, want to do is I want to turn it off, and I want to take all the iron ore that we have, not the ingots, the ore, and I just want to take this thing and I want to fill it up as best as I can. But instead of uh, filling it up, what I want to do is I want to build a platform for this, so. What we're probably going to do is destroy this. I'm going to show you guys something real quick before I end the video out. Um, this over here is a block station. And you could use in stone and stuff. I think what we're going to do is let's take a look at the cobblestone textures. Um, we're going to use this and... Uh, we're going to craft ourselves up some blocks. I'm um, just going to take a nap here real quick and I'll show you what I'm going to do.
really wish that FPS was a little bit better. Alright, so we got 15 of these things and we need to do this. Alright, so we're going to hit 3 and what we're going to do is smell 3 sitting right there. So I want to do is I want to start placing a All right, so you, right here you can see that I started to place a uh, base sort of thing. So I really didn't want to build anything out here, but looks like we're not going to have much of a choice. Um, we're going to count the block size. We're going to take this and we're going to count the block size of this. It looks like it's one, we'll say two. Um, Let's move this up here, son, so we can count this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like it's a nine by nine, so I'm going to have to make a nine by nine platform out of this so that we could set the uh, thing on it. Now, there's a way you could click and drag this stuff, but... I'm really not too sure as to how that works right now, so I'm going to work with this. I'm going to goof around with it, and I'm going to get ourselves a proper oven set up. So I'll see you guys next episode. Check you later. Bye.